So this morning I'm doing a little more testing on uh, Seacox here. What I'm really looking at this morning is actually I just uh, low tested a PVC valve and I'll have to look at the video to see where it failed uh, but literally the threads just ripped right out of it. Uh, somewhere around 250 pounds the ABYC standard is uh, 500 pounds for 30 seconds so well below that. What I've done here though, or what I'm actually more interested in today is how well drilled and tapped bolts uh, into solid fiberglass. This is actually a product called GPO3 which is a factory made uh, polyester resin uh, and fiberglass sheet product. It's half inch thick. I drilled and tapped it for 5 16 by 18 bolts and then uh, installed a flanged adapter on there and as you can see there's no through hole here. Uh, well the lighting might be not so great under there but there's no nuts on the bottom. Uh, these are just drilled and tapped into the fiberglass. And so now I want to see how, how the Marillon valve does uh, compared to uh, the bolts, uh, the drilled and tapped bolts. Uh, this is a three quarter inch Marillon valve, uh, the Groco flanged adapter in bronze and a bronze tailpiece. I'm, I'm using a Dyneema uh, rope here for less stretch. I'm um, then going to a block. This is Yale Vision, which is also a low stretch line. Uh, you can see, I believe this is Vectran, uh, and then off to the self-tailing winch. So, uh, hopefully, uh, the, the, the idea is that I get less stretch. I'm going to just mount the camera to the tripod here, and then we'll load this thing up and see how she does. Um, I'm, not, I'm not using peak hold anymore because, because of the stretch characteristics. Uh, so what I'll have to do is, uh, once the video has been made, is uh, just really watch it in slow motion to, to get an idea where it fails. Um, but the bottom line is this should hold 500 pounds for 30 seconds to meet the ABYC standard. So uh, this, the, the hose clamp and the hose is literally just to hold that on there so it starts flexing. So we're going to load this up now. That's not good. Wow, that wasn't even 250 pounds. And uh, here's the ball that fell right out of it. Um, it uh, it would appear. Let me just loosen the self-tailing winch here. I don't want to edit this uh, this video. Um, but the funny thing is, I, I believe the PVC actually outlasted the the Marillon, and um, it would appear that the, that the uh, that the valve body uh, deformed. I mean, the threads still look intact, and no, no, these are buggered up on this side here. Uh, but it appears that the valve body deformed, literally yanking it right off of uh, right off of the base. So um, clearly, this this Marillon valve. This is called their OEM series. This valve did 500, more than 500 pounds for more than 30 seconds. So this is a significantly more robust valve. Uh, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> quite horrified at where this one failed. That's, uh, that, that's a big surprise to me. Um, and uh, uh, I, I certainly will have to reconsider using these uh, in the future. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll test another one at some point. These things get awfully expensive to destroy. Um, this one, uh, this one was uh, was one of the early ones with the, the failed handle already, so the handle had already split off of this one. Uh, but I kept it around. I don't know why. I just did. Uh, so anyway, the, the, wow, that's that's pretty bad.